Namaste. Welcome to Powerhouse Tarot. I'm Energy Goddess. Welcome to my beautiful, lit, abundant, and prosperous YouTube channel. Here on the channel, I like to do different spiritually related videos and content. If you resonate with the frequency over here, the messages, the vibe, me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, as well as the post notification bell, so you're always alerted when I upload to the channel. Let's get into it. Okay, we got a transit message okay this particular transit is chiron and aries okay chiron and aries all right let's get into it chiron is about the wounded self right the wounded healer right the part of us that's wounded but definitely wants to heal and self mastery right so with chiron being an aries aries big mars energy right wants action right wants to take action on on our passions the things that you know we like right um mainly just that energy of instincts right instincts are learned through behavior right and through certain behavior it gives you certain instincts about you right so healing these aspects of us right this innate nature we've learned through behavior, right? So let's unpack some of this energy here with Chiron and Aries, okay? Archangel Michael, I ask that you come down and place the edge of protection around my messages and allow them to flow where they need to go. Archangel Jabril, thank you for helping me communicate the messages from above so below. Thank you. All right. Holy Spirit, what is it that I need to see during this time? Show me what I need to see during this time. Okay. <clears throat> Getting the energy of like wanting to be more playful is kind of complicated though. Someone feels rigid. Someone feels, uh, I want to say stuck. Stuck. It's like someone could be feeling stuck at this time. Spirit really just wants you to be more playful. The differences in between people are creating some sort of denial. Meanwhile, others are living in fulfillment. I feel like someone needs to accept and embrace the truth here. Someone's trying to hold off on something like, oh, well, if I be mean, or oh, if I be crass, or what's the word, like rude, they'll stop everything from happening, or that'll block what's coming in. I feel like someone's... Uh, being humbled in a situation, getting like a swift reminder. I'm getting like a friendship. This this could have been like somebody that was like feeling the energy of someone copying or wanting to do something like them. I'm getting envy. Like someone could have envied someone. Maybe someone envied someone because what they were or what they had. Yeah, this person was very confident. I'm getting Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo energy. Someone was very um, jealous of what someone had. Yeah, High Priestess of Earth. Someone like went against what they had been shown. They had been shown something was forbidden and not to do it. Someone might have done something that was forbidden. What I'm getting. Mm 
Yeah. I think somebody's learning obedience through love is the is the process, is what they're saying. Someone might have rushed into a situation. This person was very lustful. Yeah, it's like they learned a lesson like not to go low when someone else goes low. Like you were going to go high. That's the lesson here is what I'm getting. Someone had to learn that lesson. Like just because someone's going low, like you're going to go higher because you're going to achieve greater results when you zap whatever that's trying to attack you on a lower level. Yeah, on some real shit. That's what I'm getting. Like someone avoided fate by choosing um, light, just period. Like their fate being, it's like this person is like saying like chess, not checkers. You know, for real. Warrior spirit, very calculated, strategical. It's like everyone has choices. Okay, like you see, literally, it's like light and dark, right? Remember I said that somebody made a choice between light and dark. Don't forget, you're getting a reminder. Someone's getting a reminder of that at this time, this period. Um, With the wounded Hiller and Chiron. Yeah. Everybody has these choices, okay? And I feel like you might be making an action towards your lighter side. Embracing more of that. As well as your darker side, like creating more understanding for who that is. Because it's still you, there's beauty in that. Mm, literally, that's what I just said, understanding. Creating understanding for the beauty in your darkness. In all aspects of you, as well as others. High priestess of fire. I'm getting someone's definitely a fire sign here. Doesn't have to be, but... So you can work with fire. Love working with fire or something like that. Yeah, someone's getting a really, um, someone's getting a, a, a really clear understanding of what it is that they should be doing at this time. Um, healing the wounded healer, creating self-mastery at this time. Um, it's like chess. Calculating your moves. Okay. Before you make them. Less impulsivity or something like that. Because this is about self-mastery. Yeah, halls of learning. It says, Spirit, guys, confirmation and great lessons. Right now, this is really what the energy is in halls of learning. Really embracing what you're learning and experiencing. Also, I see the chamber of the violet flame, a karmic release and a radical transformation deep within us here. Um, with this Chiron and Aries. Wow, Stargate heart, heart chakra opening up and unlocking generosity. Literally the heart of source being connected to the oneness. All-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, and serenity. Okay. Wow, Akashic Stargate, the bottom of the deck over here, says you're aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. So this is amazing where we are. Um... And the proverbial as well as galactic affairs. So 
this is amazing. What else is coming out there? Um, I'm getting new energy. Wanting to create something different. Learning how to trust yourself. Release the dark wound, let love in. See, that's all of that Chi uh, Chiron and Aries energy. You know what I'm saying? Really releasing the dark wound. Wounded healer. Letting, lo letting love live. Excuse me. I don't know why I can't talk. <laughs> letting love live. Okay? For real. Big bold vision. They say, look, look what they say. Defend it to the end. The worthwhile who you are right now. And healing and transforming your wounded healer within the self and creating self-mastery through this process of inspiration. You're going against the grain, okay? Beyond the mind, your heart is beating. What is already within you? Okay, have faith in your process. You're seeing the true you. You're also in this energy of receiving in the world, not of the world. Okay. Your source is energy of attraction, beautiful attraction energy, right? Right now with the wounded or Chiron and Aries, this particular transit I feel like is really giving us, um, I want to say <laughs> revenge when we ride on our enemies, but I'm not. <laughs> because the transformation is so beautiful and there was a lot of people that went um, against the good that they know in order to kind of be of um some sort of blockage because of the guilt the unwillingness to transform and change their life some of them are now seeking uh, re a resurrection <clears throat> wanting to change their life make things better for themselves and in their health Some of these people are facing abuse in their life, facing the abuse that they were concealing in secrecy. Someone's really inspired, and this is really us collective, like inspiring people, whether they really want to give us our credit because on some real shit, we've done some major healing with this uh, Chiron and Aries on some real shit. We just inspire people. That's just what we do. <clears throat> and it gives people the curiosity that were in denial of their own resurrection to, to transform themselves and get out of the rat, get out of the way of wrath. For real. Judgment and judgment. And some real shit, a lot of these, these energies that we're inspiring, um, their hearts were heavy. 
and they needed to change things in their life to make things better. Um, they had a lot of, what is that, like karma and, and um, coming in because they were envious of, of people creating trauma. Now they're looking for redemption. They're, these people are desperate for this energy that you inspired them with. Some of them could have been trying to trick you, still trying to trick you. Um, because they think like you were an easy mark with your Chiron and Aries energy. Remember I said right on your enemies, it's like you don't even have to because it's like on some real shit. It's like you are in this purification mode. Like you're not even paying attention to what's external to you. It creates so much inner prosperity because of you being in compliance with spirit on some real shit. Okay. There's a time for an ego and there's a time for the soul. You know what I'm saying? There's balance. Someone needed atonement. And someone's going for it at this time as well. So that's what I'm seeing with the uh, Chiron and Aries messages. Someone needs atonement. They're going for it. This creates... Um, excellent self-mastery within someone. This could also lead you directly towards your life purpose and whatever that is and whatever that means to you um, through embracing the self. Regret, trust. So right now at this time, Spirit is just asking for you to just trust the process. Don't regret where you are, what you've been through. You're creating positive self-esteem for yourself at this time. That's lifting you up higher and giving you also success, okay? So embark, you know, on that path in peace, okay? Be real with yourself and be lighter, okay? Again, like I said about purpose, it's this whatever this energy is, that you found yourself in and all of the learning that you found yourself going through, they were divinely meant to happen. Okay, the energy of denial and worry is being removed and replaced with abundance for you at this time. Okay, so don't feel guilty for the overflow of love that you've never felt and experienced now coming in through loving friendships. Okay. Who are in acceptance. Didn't I say that? that was the main thing? The acceptance of you and who you are. They help you to learn balance. Give you peace. Free of loneliness. Okay? True shit. Real shit. True shit. Helping you have courage within on some real shit through your adversity you might have experienced. So there's a, a huge change right now coming to shift. Okay, in relationships through self-mastery where there was a lot of judgment. Remember, it's all about the self and nobody's the biggest enemy when it comes to self, right? Usually that's usually our biggest enemy, you know, even though we project, right? Hmm? Come on. Come on. Yeah, denial and trust. I can't make this shit up. Like, for real. So... Just trust where you are right now. That's what I'm really getting. Happiness. Spirit needs you to be have happiness. Okay. Ooh, I love it for you. <laughs> I love it. What else? Let's get some angel messages and we'll just close it out. This is what I'm getting, y'all, for the Chiron and Aries messages. Timeless transit messages. Mm -mm -mm. Working at the root. Working at the root, I heard. Ascended master, literally. You are an ascended master. You're working with very powerful um, spiritual teachers and they're working to guide you, okay? And they're watching over you at this time. Angel messages, okay? So listen up. Pay close attention to what you're hearing. Also, um... The external forces within your mind, okay? Sources, excuse me. The messages are real and they're answers to your prayers, okay? 
pay attention to what you're putting into your body at this time. Clear yourself of anything that is bringing down your vibration. Walk in integrity at this time. Okay. There could have been something on your mind that's weighing heavy. You might want to communicate something right now while you're working um, through this transit with Chiron and Aries. Um, feeling the need to speak more. Open up your throat chakras because you're taking in so much information. You're taking in so much downloads and so many things that are now helping you to transition in life and really stand in your ascended master position. So this is going to be intense. Stay connected. Stay grounded. Okay. To spirit. Truly. All right, and allow the information in so that it can transform your life. Whatever expectation, like I was saying about that earlier, right, is it's not null and void. It's still coming towards you, and it's going to be yours. It's already yours. Something is already yours, okay? Just period, as I keep saying that same phrase, okay? Um, and right now, spirit just needs you to focus on stability, the home, the root chakra, okay? And continue to make strides towards uh, healing out um, the self, mastering self. That's the action that you want to take right now. Really boldly. This is what your soul craves, right? Um, so you can ascend to your next level, your destiny, right? This is what I'm getting for uh, particular transit messages. Let's keep the chat going down below. Y'all make sure y'all comment and let me know how y'all like this transit. All right. Peace.